All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Roy McQueen, and uh, this is going to be the last video for uh, creating mobile apps with jQuery Mobile and PhoneGap. And keep in mind, this is just the basics to get you guys up and running. Uh, I will cover some advanced topics in a different series and actually build a real-life uh, application that you can use in a production environment. So, um... All right, guys, so today we're going to take a look at the Capture API, which provides access to the device's audio, image, and video capture capabilities. Now, just like we've been doing, uh, I'm just going to follow the PhoneGap documentation and use the, the and get the example working for you. So, if you're just now watching, uh, like I said before, uh, the adding PhoneGap plugin video which is probably like two videos back, something like that. It gives you more details on how getting set up to add the plugin to your project. And this, remember, we we doing this for Android, Android uh phone, you know. So, um, but for those of you that's been following along this whole series, let's go ahead and jump right in. So as you can see, I installed the plugin in my project, and I included the proper permissions in the manifest, if needed. And also added the feature inside of the configuration file. I also created another separate HTML page called Capture. Uh, we're using the same setup uh, like we've been using. We just use the same basic uh, HTML that we've been using. Now, from the documentation, let's copy the example and paste in our code. Now this example will start the audio recorder application and return information about the captured audio clip files. But you got to make sure that you have a SD card mounted because uh, this example uses external storage. So first, let's take a look at the JavaScript code. So when we press the button, it calls the capture audio function, which launches the device recording application and then we when you stop the recording and if everything is successful it'll call the capture success function that handles the audio data then you have a function to upload then you have an error function you know if something goes wrong it'll alert the user that um, you know something went wrong so let's go ahead and run this. And there you go. It's pretty simple. Okay, guys, so there you have it. And now you know how to get started building a mobile application using jQuery Mobile 1.4.2 and PhoneGap 3.4. Well, uh, with PhoneGap, it's just PhoneGap 3. So now if if I were you, what I would do for homework is go over the rest of the PhoneGap APIs and get familiar with accessing the features and go back and review some of these videos if you have any problems. And another thing that I want to mention that I didn't cover in this series is that you can, you can also create your own custom plugin. And I'll probably cover that in the next advanced series where, where uh, I'll walk you through building a real mobile application and using best practices when doing it. And, you know, um, so that series is gonna, is gonna be a real good one to tune into because it's gonna show you how you would typically want to structure and build your, app, your mobile application. And this series was just to get you guys familiar and get you guys up and running. Also, be sure to visit the jQuery Mobile uh, site for more information and also visit my blog to download all source code and check out some more different tutorials that I got posted up for the series for, you know, different tutorials that I got posted up. So I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed, you know, being here because I enjoyed teaching you and uh, I check you out in the next series. So peace out.